I was in a group call uh, yesterday yeah. with Rio Ferdinand and Kodak Black, and I just. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to Good Evening Britain. I am Darkest Man, I am joined here by my good friend. Yes, I go by the name of Young Philly, aka William Shaw. In today's show, lies, more lies, and we'll be talking to an expert on excrement and blindness. But first, the headlines. I really should do this as a job. TikToker claims Google Earth proves that we live in a simulation. Claiming to have video proof of a glitch in the matrix, TikTok user Kylie Scott posted a video of the Earth failing to load. By the Earth, I mean Google Earth. Google Earth was glitching and Kylie is an idiot. Philly, do you think we're living in a simulation? I mean, I think you can ask the question a lot simpler. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of muttering and then... I don't really understand the just question. Just one, just, uh, uh, neither do I, and I just so read So the it. world is glitching, is that what you're saying to me? Uh, uh, pretty much, pretty much. Um, do I think we're living in a glitch? Yeah, do you think we're living in a glitch? Do you think the world is somehow... Fake. ...glitchified? Yes, that's no. the word. You don't I think believe so? in God. Yes, and I believe there's a plan. Yes, yeah, for, so, for everything. no. So, uh, this is why I'm saying TikTok is not a good app, because mm. it promotes fa uh, false news like that. Um, Ibs, what about you? Oh, so, um, what do, uh, going back on... Ibs, where's, where, where's your belt? Oh, my belt? Yeah, your belt. Oh. Why, why did you pull mess, it out from your mess, hip? Mess, mess. I'll tell you what you do, Ib. Show us a TikTok dance. You are young. Yeah. You know, the headline is about TikTok. Yeah, really Show great. us a TikTok dance. I, I, I'll do the song. Three, two, one, go. Cornbread, cornbread. I'm in my room and you're like that. that and then you walk like that. You talk like that. You walk like that. Yeah, yeah that one. I'll support yeah. that. Even though that's that one. So what dance is TikTok, that one, yeah? That wasn't Corvette, that Corvette. That was Prius, Prius. Oh. Yeah, that's what yeah. it was. So you have a Prius, Prius. Yeah. <laughs> Prius, Prius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a joke, look at the love. He's yeah. a love, he's a <laughs> yeah, bless him. All right, guys, next headline. Man so scared of being buried alive, he had a window fitted into the grave. Dr. Timothy Clark Smith was so paranoid, he patented a grave design that includes a window for onlookers to check if he was, in fact, dead. The design also includes a bell, which the buried person can ring if they wake up. I'm not gonna lie, um... I'll be, I'll be scared if I had that bill. What would you do if you just walk into the grave and you had a bill? Wow. That's basically my man telling you it's not my time yet. And it wasn't even just like a normal bing bing. Yeah. It was like he tried to make a beat out of it. Yeah, do, like do, 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 do. Imagine he's pressed the bell I'll like that. In, I'll leave That's him in there torture. You know, you're taking it as a joke. I'll be real. If yeah, you try to make him beats and you're in the grave. Yeah, stay there, man. Stay what there. do you reckon a man has to go through in his lifetime to want a window in his grave? Well, because you know, have you never really thought, imagine you die and you wake up in your grave? I've never really thought waking up down there. I mean, if I saw my own reflection. Have you actually had that thought? Yeah, definitely. I mean, what if I died and, and I actually didn't die? Maybe I was just asleep and like a really good sleep. Yeah, because my heartbeat goes when I don't. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, Justin Timothy is uh, in your ear right now and he says you've got the latest news. Oh, yeah, I do. So that's exactly what you want me to say. All right, cool. Um, Germany, the country, not the business, um, has come out with bulletproof contact lenses, which actually protect your bullet from eyes. And there's actually dots on them. Okay. Because you know when pe people have shotgun nowadays, yeah. Phil, yeah. and that lets out a lot. So what you want to do is protect every part of your cornea. Cornea? Cornea. Yeah. So um, what do you think of this idea? I think, it's, I think it's amazing. You know, Timothy was just talking more about, you know, why there is a mass population of ducks in Taiwan. That's right. It wasn't, you know, to do with the bulletproof, you know, contact lenses. It's yeah. more to do, you know, with, with the, you know, how the solar system and, you know, the Earth glides. Yeah, in yeah, such a, you that's know, very true. But that doesn't really magnify, because I was actually talking to this, um, I was in a group call uh, yesterday yeah. with Rio Ferdinand and Kodak Black, and I just... <laughs> <laughs> Said Zoom call. You see, if you said to me FaceTime, I'd say, yeah, I said yeah, more. Maybe yeah, yeah. you bet me he's I, tried I, to I ring. To death. He's tried to ring. Yeah. I don't know. Give me another player. Um, Vidic. Tried to ring Vidic, yeah. but you get me. Yeah. It was real. Yeah, literally. Real. Code that and real. But yeah. that is real. We we do want to say we are laughing, and you know we do tell our news, and you know a fabulous and lovely way. Yes. 
But uh, everything we say on this show is absolutely real. Yeah, it's happened before. It's happened. Wait, and, it's, and it's happening now, guys. So, we just got a traffic report in. Uh, a lot of traffic on the M25. Ibs, please tell us about the traffic. So, so the traffic over here to the left and yes. to the right yes. is looking kind of wavy, wavy, you wavy, know what I'm saying? Wavy, yeah, wavy. So, yeah, wave, yeah, yeah oceans, yeah, yeah crazy. Yeah, yeah. So the cars are then bending to the left yeah. and then bending to the right yeah, okay. and then looking up, yeah. 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 So yeah. the cars are then transforming. God bless Ibrahim, he is terrible at his job. The red light is actually northern hemispheres yeah. that are breaking backs with uh, fer ferals. Yeah, 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 that's crazy. Okay, um, um, just one, actually, it's a long actually, just one thing. Yeah. Let's discuss some current affairs that we have. So, um, it's question time. It's question time. And young Philly, I have a very juicy question for you, brother. Okay. Really want to know how you think. Would you rather detect every lie you hear or get away with every lie you tell? Cold. Detect every lie I'm no. told. But then again, think, you're not thinking about it. You can hear, you can, you, you can always tell if signs are lie, but when you... No, sorry, De detect every lie I hear. So know when people are lying or people don't know when you're lying, basically? Know when people are lying. Really? Yeah. Like, you can get away with anything. No, my bro. heart's too pure, I'm not on it. You can get it. My heart's too, too pure. Philly, really, you're going to come down into the situation. It. I'm good boy, be nice until someone's not nice to you, then you're not nice, but I'm nice. Yeah. I agree, but um, I'm chatting <laughs> all the time because I can get away with anything. I can get rich. You can go to the bank and say, yeah, um, I have this much in my car. They think I'm telling the truth. Okay. Do you know what I mean? You ain't thought about that. You ain't thought about that. No, no. Yeah. If we, I didn't think. Yeah, you can go to bookies right now. Said I said Leicester to win 2017. I not have any papers, <laughs> and you're getting your piece there and then. What about you, Ibs? Uh, just keep it. Just shush. Sure, sure, sure. uh, uh, do you have a question for me, sir? Yeah, I do. Uh, would you rather be in jail for five years or be in a coma for a decade? I would sleep so deep in that coma. <laughs> Jail <laughs> 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 <Why? laughs> for five years. Blood. That's five Let, years. Look, of deep it though. Deep it though, yeah? Cool. Nice little nap. But in jail, at least someone are productive. I've seen certain rappers that we listen to now come out of jail, whole life is changed. Yeah. They wrote so many bars and mixtapes when he was in the can. Yeah. Come out, whole life changed. Or even deeper. Oh. They'll go in, they'll come out bolo. They're doing something productive. You're yeah. just sleeping. Yeah, I have to, I'm fine with myself. It's not about fine. I'm saying in jail, I can still have You're your talking like this gym, this just jail experience is going to be fine for you. I, I've never been prison, but I know it works. Unfortunately, I've had a friend in there. Once you're in a certain little category, I'll hold that little D cap. Walk one, man, there. <laughs> That's me in the can. we got a different name in there, Phil. It's not even Philly. Because you got to be more stern in prison. What would, ooh, 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 what, what? what would your prison name be? Prison? Yeah, oh, if you had, a, if you had, had a prison nickname, what would you be? If stop thinking, can't come into. Dark Thunder. Because, bro, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> I was thinking of reasons as to why they call me that. Nothing sounds appropriate. Dark thunder. Yeah, because I'm dark and I strike. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What would you call yourself in prison? Me? Yeah. I will call myself... Doctor to the side. Ah, oh, doctor to the side. Um, I would call myself unconfused, uncertified. Um, unconfused, uncertified. So yeah. I think... Unconfused, so uncertified. Either yeah. the two. Uncertified. Okay. Notice how he didn't just have like a cool name. Yeah, yeah, nothing. It's like he violated himself. A dark thunder. Like, pfft. it's like he couldn't say. You know what? Ibs, I've got a task for you. Say three nice things about yourself. Yeah, quickly. Nice things. Uh, yeah. Compliment yourself in three different ways. Uh. Are you being serious? <laughs> We're doomed. <laughs> you got lovely hair, ribs. I love the complexion of your skin. Your trousers okay. are a bit. Uh, okay. Like, there's loads of you stuff can that are three great things about, you. about yourself. Just three things. Yeah, come on, bro. Uh, uh, Seriously, we're actually not leaving here until you tell me. Three I'm not moving love, on until you do. Okay. We have to uh, love ourselves. Come on. What do you love? Uh, funny. Yeah, good fact. Hair. Good funny. Hair. Good hair. Uh, and yeah, just happiness. 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 Okay, that's happy. cap. No, that was sh. Yeah. Happiness. Happiness. I don't, I don't. Out of all the things <laughs> on said, you, I it said, could be, I don't know, how I am towards people, my manners. Yeah. I'm oh, caring. Manners. Okay. When manners someone's sad, I'm considerate. I show okay. them. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay. come on. Okay. Okay. Just like start yes. again. Consider start again. Give okay. me free honestly. Honestly, honestly. What do you love about yourself? Okay, I'm funny. Yes. Good hair. Good hair. Yeah. And I'm very considerate to other people. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't that bad, was it? What the hell? I just want to know what took 15 minutes. Just tell me what we've learned from this. Huh? Tell me what we've learned from this situation. He's a liar. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was going to 
to say something nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, what we've learned. Um, anyway, over to you for sports, Ibs. Okay, today on the latest sports, we have William Shakespeare playing around with FC Barcelona, and FC Barcelona was then signed with the contract that was then... Slow down, slow down. So that's William Shakespeare. Um, just, just so, obviously, that the viewers at home know, how many goals did William Shakespeare get for FC Barcelona? Yeah. FC Barcelona. Yeah, how much goals did he get? He got minus nothing. Minus, okay, Ta because usually by, if you don't score, so, you finish with zero. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, so that's minus... It's crazy, minus crazy numbers. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, uh, Man United, Man City tonight, what time is that on, Ibs? What time? Yeah. It's on when the oh, surface well. of the when the surface of the land of Egypt is then... Fact. Yeah. I learned that. Okay, so that will be all for sports. And yeah, passing over to you. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, Ibs. Thank God that's over. Now, for the moment we all love the most, while we're all here, it's time for Top Stories. Our dogs pick up their own dudes. Well, obviously not. I mean, I'm not saying a dog will pick up the poo, but I'm saying if a the guard dog, who would pick up the guard dog's poo? I, I feel like a guide dog would need a guide dog. I feel like a guide dog would need a guide dog. Well, maybe have a no, dog. but a, do a dog can't. Come on, bro. Let's be serious for a second here, Darkers. Yeah. Who picks up the poo if the blind person can't see? I feel like they're exempt. <laughs> so you're saying. I'm not, I'm not even knocking your theory, you know, but you're saying because how would you if a blind it? person's dog poos, it's acceptable for the poo to be... Is that what you're saying? I I'm not saying you're like, wrong, by the way. If it, if it, I feel like, bro, if you come across it, just pick it up, put it in the bin. If it was a normal human being, I wouldn't suggest you do that. But now it's just... It's a, do you know what I mean? Can't help that dog. I'm not the best person to talk to about this, bro. <laughs> I think we should ask Zoe Brandy from GuideDogs.org. Make some noise for Zoe! Oh, I well, I'm introducing her like we're on some mad game show. <laughs> like Zoe! Isn't it? Hi! Uh, no. <laughs> Woo! That scared me. I love dogs. I'm not scared of dogs. <laughs> I love dogs. How are you, Zoe? Good, thank you. You okay? Yeah, you sir. What's your dog's name? This is Gemma. Gemma? What's happening, girl? What's she on? What's going on, Gem? I just don't want it to get... To um, so, Zoe, <laughs> we've got some questions for you. And these are actually genuine. Um, I'll be honest, uh, a lot of them I didn't come up with myself. Uh -huh. However, when I saw them, I was amazed. Because I was actually... I, I didn't know the answer to that. Who picks up the guide dog's poo-poo? This is a question I get asked all the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the guide dog owners don't have to. Very Except, I told you, bro. Yeah, yeah, you forgot yeah. that. Come on, man. No, no, come on. However, yeah. however, we do try and encourage them to do it, and they get taught to feel around, basically. So they just, yeah, they, they'll feel down the dog's back, uh -huh. and then feel around the area, smell a bit. Well, that's all right though, because you've got a bag. I see my, my, my yeah, old obviously, pick up yeah. poo -poo, You know what I mean? Not with bag, your bare hands. That's a bit yeah. evil, though, isn't it? Well, yeah. what's evil? I mean, make him. Never mind. Maybe Where not. is your mind going? <laughs> huh? No, but it's just... I don't, I don't want to know. Okay. Uh, the next question i got for you. Some of these questions are going to be very silly to you, but... I didn't us, come up actually, with it. Yeah, no, but it, I don't even think that matters. It does. But to us, I was actually genuinely in, in, intrigued. Do blind people turn off the lights off at home? Good question. Don't yeah, you is, think is. that is brilliant? Yeah, and I don't know the answer because <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't work with um, the people. I just work with the dogs. <sighs> but I'm guessing but there would be no need. It depends. I mean, not not all not all people are fully blind, but some people have some vision. Yeah, yeah. Some people are like partially. In. Yeah, but so I'm guessing they they they'd be able to see some like some light. Yeah. yeah. So, but th there's no point really if you can't see it. You have no perception of light. Then why would you need the lights on? You just saved yourself. Save, save so much money. money. Yeah. So much money, electricity. That, that's a great question, though. Anyway, you can answer the next one. All right. Do guide dogs ever attack humans? As in, like, do they just say, yeah, you know it is, you're listening to me? Okay. Do you know what? That's a great question, and I'm going to add to that. So I've got a dog, he's called Pimpon. Beautiful little Jack Russell. Um, well. <laughs> that's the way you said it, Carol. He is, a beautiful dog. A beautiful I love my dog. Good boy. <laughs> However, yeah. Sometimes when people come, he'll bark. Mm -hmm. Dog's a good dog. Mm. However, when I've got a friend called Dan that comes around, I think it's the dreads. He don't like dreads, my dog. He barks. 
But that doesn't make my dog a bad dog. Do you get my point here? I kind of, yeah. we're forgetting. At the end of the day, before everything <laughs> else, gonna... the dog's an, he's, it's an animal. You can't, you can't tell what it's going to do. do you know yes, I mean? you can. How, bro? Please tell me you agree with me. It's Don't you think you can train an, an animal to a point where you know how it's going to act in certain situations? Yeah. See? I do that every day. That's her job, bro. You're dissing her job. Fair enough. Yeah, you have to be able to predict what the dog's going to do. Are you always going to react? So what's the success rate? Like 100%? Have you ever just been like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so if you're having those moments, it could just come at any point in time. That's what I'm saying. It just means you've got more work to do. Um... Oh, I like this one. This one's beautiful because I feel like the guide dogs have a connection with the blind person. So how do you match the guide dog to a human? That's a very good... Beautiful oh, question. So, so I know, bro, and I, I come up with that one myself. It, it was the delivery that yeah, was in Thank you, brother, thing. thank you. <laughs> but go on, absolutely. Um, not every guide dog could just go to anyone. So the guide dogs, each guide dog is unique and each person is unique. Mm. So the dogs can only do certain things and they will get matched to the person that does exactly the same thing. Yo, I didn't know that. So for example, Gemma, Gemma walks at a very slow pace. So she couldn't go to someone that walks at a fast pace. So, okay, yeah. so is there like... I love people. And this is great. This like, I, is, I, like, I really like, I like what I'm learning people. today. I like people. That's what I really like. Um, so tell me more about guidedogs.org. What, what, what's, the, what's the aim and the mission for you guys over there? Well, we're not just dogs. We do lots of other things. Everyone thinks we're all like about what? dogs. Such as what? We um, do rehabilitation for children. Okay. Oh, no way. So oh. We, we teach children at a young age I how to... I thought you were going to say like guide eagles or something. <laughs> <laughs> Small dogs, yeah. no. Um, we teach them how to do stuff. Um, how to do life skills and stuff at a young age and how to get by. We also have a My Guide service where if you don't want a dog or you just want to get out a couple of days a week and you want a companion, we have volunteers that go and take them shopping. And I love it. Oh, that's nice. Like that. And we also do cane skills. So not a dog's not right for everyone. Some people just would, like, would rather use a cane. Yeah. So we teach them independent mobility with that first as well. So That's nice. That and also beautiful. the dogs, but you know. Yeah, that's nice. It made me smile. So it's what here. sort of uh, breeds do you have over there, Jit? Does it? Oh, yeah, because all dogs are quite big. Yeah, they'd have to be. To yeah, be I've never seen a Jack Russell guy. So dog. is it sort of like the bigger the dog, the better the guide? No. See, look, my qu I shouldn't be allowed to talk, man. <laughs> <laughs> we use mainly we use Lab Cross Golden yeah. Retrievers, yeah. so. Do you, do, you, do you have anything to say, Ibrahim? You normally do. I'm like, he hasn't stopped staring at that dog for about 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you that, scared of dogs? Dogs, yeah, crazy. Can't lie, I had bad experience. I can't lie with, with dogs. Yeah, what happened? Did it bite you? So the dog, basically, one time, I must have been young, five. I yeah, think I was now, five years old. Yeah. One dog, I must have been on roads. Yeah, some dog must have chased me. Yeah. Wallah, I was running yeah. for my life. <laughs> Wallah, yeah, yeah. And afterwards, it must have started licking man, and I was like, oh my days, stop licking me. Like yeah. I, I was five, yeah. Dogs on top of me, fam. Yeah. I was scared. But it didn't bite you. It didn't bite you. No, it didn't bite me. But like, no, no, that's true. No, no, it seems that way. Nah, nah, you're nah, five, nah. but that's what dogs do. Like my dog will bark. <laughs> like my dog does that. I yeah, know yeah. my dog talks. Do you feel like your dog talks to you for a bark? I swear to you. Like I know a certain bark means yo, Philly, I've missed you. Go on. All right, let me know. I stop then. Go on. Let's move on. I don't want to talk about. Don't want to talk about. Well, Zoe, you've been amazing. Um, we laugh and I'm being serious. <laughs> <laughs> that was, you know, that I meant that though. In her head, she was like, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 that's what she's thinking. But no, obviously, you've been great. Thank you so much for sharing what you yeah. shared with us. Amazing. Um, I wish guidedogs.org and everyone working there the absolute best. Thank you. And I hope all the dogs find amazing people that look after them and love them and love them. I don't even know what I'm saying. I just hope everything's just full of love. Um, <laughs> I've been Young Philly. She's been Zoe. You've been. Um, you know, I forgot what I was doing for a second. Dogs, man. All right, guys, that's been another episode of Good Evening Britain. My name is Darkest Man. This is my good friend, Young Philly. Yes, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, but most importantly, turn on that bell because it lets you know when a new video has been released. Love and guidance. Take care.